somebody tell me what the... Hey, hey, it's got a zipper. Attention program. You will receive an identity disk. Everything you do or learn will be imprinted on this disk. If you lose your disk or fail to follow commands, you will be subject to immediate de-resolution. Marion complete. Disk activated and synchronized. Proceed to games. Games? And this movie was conceived as a three-dimensional movie from the start. We shot it with real 3D cameras. Uh, we finished it as a 3D movie. We you know, finished each eye separately. There's no conversion in this movie. The in-camera 3D, this is the you know, best-in-class 3D. It's all shot with cameras that were one step beyond what was used in Avatar. The stereoscopic cameras that um, did require a lot of kind of retooling of our pipeline and some of our software. And, all that stuff had to be revamped to allow two synced sets of data going through the pipeline. Being a first time director, I like the idea of pulling uh, other people from outside the film business. So I you know, hired automobile designers from Bugatti, uh, guys that I went to architecture school with to work on the sets. I mean, I pulled people from you know, all over the place to work on this movie. For the last five years before I started on Tron, uh, I designed cars for um, Volkswagen and Bugatti. The iconic light cycle was a fun project. I think it took a week to reshape it very uh, subtly and with a lot of respect. So when you squint your eyes, all the fans are gonna realize it's the old bike, but every single surface is new. Perhaps the scariest thing about this job <laughs> was the fact that we had to make the suits light up. We embed them in channels so all the lights are in the suits. They're all self-contained power. The only thing, and hopefully someday we'll be able to perfect this, is you couldn't run them for very long. So about every 12 minutes for some suits, we had to change the battery set. I was very curious when we were shooting how Clue would end up looking, because when I worked with Jeff, of course, he was wearing this face replacement motion capture rig, what I called the Teletubby hat. Um, we had lots of little dots all over his face. There was four cameras that were shooting the standard definition progressive um, black and white. We got Jeff's facial muscles driving his own system um, on the younger version of himself, which hasn't really been done before. The wizards who have been, you know, perfecting the way uh, Clue looks, the character that I play, uh, they uh, called upon my wife to come in and give the final uh, tweaks. They figured that. She knew me better than anybody. And what she was working with was a, is a head, a clay head. Then they scan into the computer and then I get to drive that head. Isn't that bizarre? A younger version of myself. Kevin Flair, where are you now? I won't lose him again. Oh, Here they come. Yeah! Is our destiny.